Alrighty, welcome. This is Crazy J and dude, dude, we are sitting here. Um, she just got done making her coils. Um, this is basically a third time we've done this video. The last video we ha I had recorded, it was 38 minutes, and I was not gonna post up a 38 minute video. Um, so on she made her coils. Um, the first time she made them good, she accidentally held the button down and was trying to heat treat them and basically broke the coil off um now i wrapped a 28 gauge night night chrome um coil for her with um around a two millimeter post so and this is it as you can see the right one fired up before the left one did, so I'm going to fix that real quick. I feel like this left. You know what? Let me see a screwdriver, the 1.4 millimeter. I feel like this has one more wrap in it. It has an extra wrap in it. And it's not ever going to be able to. Let me see some of the screwdrivers. Let me see the screwdrivers. I'm going to basically take this off real quick and fix this. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, welcome back. Basically, heating up pretty damn good from the center out so I'm going to let her try to cotton this um, with organic Japanese cotton Here you go, baby. but I am going to have to help her a little bit because I am not going to let her mess up the coils because <laughs> it will get messed up if you do it wrong let me see the really? silver scissors Oh, baby. All you gotta do is two dots. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. Silver scissors and the organic Japanese cotton. I am going to cut this a little bit thinner and have to show her. This is her cut. This is what she did. Basically, that is the sheet she cut off. Not a bad sheet, but it does need to be a lot thinner. Because if you think about it, look at the hole that you got to get them in. Look at that hole. They got to get that through. Which is why you got to cut this down a lot more. And then what we do. I do. So we'll take this, go like that. Mm -hmm. Don't feed that through if it's too big, let me know. Now you can tell if it's too big by if you go to pull the wire through, or the cotton through, and it moves the coil. Moving the coil. Sometimes you can put your... I'm not pulling hard enough to find okay, out. Okay, hang on, look. Hold the coil with your finger. There, I'm holding the coil for it. Okay, 
So there is one coil done for her. I'm going to cut this stuff up a lot thinner. To make sure, sure she can get it in a lot more easier. So that is what she's going to be putting in now. Go ahead and feed that through and pull that one through. Now she's been doing a very, very good job on the whole process of wrapping her own coil. Um, she's been doing everything basically. I let her do everything by herself. Um, you never will learn. If you have a wife or a girlfriend or a you know, if you're in a relationship and you both are using trippers, normally the male knows how to do the coil wrapping, coil installations, the um, cotton installs of the coil, um, cutting of the cotton, um, basically everything. What's the point of your girlfriend, wife, or your spouse, whoever they are? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see this. Let me see. Just to check. I might need to cut a little piece off. I'm afraid to spill. I didn't mess it up. Thought I must have her coil. Okay. All right, so that is done. So what we are going to do? Snip, snip. Snippity. Dippity. Snippity. There. So, one and two. I'm going to cut a little bit off on this side, though because it does have a lot extra. There. And then you will take your 1.4 millimeter screwdriver, flat head, and I'm going to let her tuck this in. She's probably looking at thinking in her head right now, you bastard. Don't touch. Quit. I'm fixing it. There you go. She is going to tuck this cotton in. Um, there, let me show you real quick. This side, basically you, you want to wrap it around and push it down in. And you want it to go down in the, basically on the bottom of it. And then same with the opposite side. So she's basically going to do that. And while she's doing that, I'm going to basically say she's been doing a very good job on the whole process of making, wrapping her coil, um, making sure you know counting how many wraps doing uh, uh straightening her coil out um heating heat treating her coil she did mess up on her first time but everybody messes up everybody i don't care who you are i messed up plenty of times making my own coil heat treating my coil and etc um she's using 28 gauge nichrome Seven wraps on each coil, dual coil, duo, two, um, with organic Japanese cotton. She's tucking the organic Japanese cotton into the Mr. Owl RDA right now. Or not Mr. Owl, the um, Dark Horse, my bad. She usually uses the Mr. Owl. Um, but yeah, I mean, there is, she's been doing a very good job on doing everything by herself but what i was saying was if you have a spouse and both of you all vape both y'all are basically doing drippers but only one of y'all know how to do the coil wrapping coil installation cottoning um all, all that basically for the dripper what's the point of that person your spouse your girlfriend your boyfriend your husband your wife 
your partner at all vaping if they don't know how to do everything. And then the other thing since what got us back into vaping was we got some free coupon vape uh free basically store rechargeable um like five ten um e cigs. I'm gonna look up the name and find out what they're called. I got some upstairs. Vos, 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 oh, v, 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 Vos, or Vos, V, 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 Vos. Vos. There you go. Views. V U S E. Now with the Views e cig. Looks very, very good. Go ahead and put your liquid in. With the Views e cig, it is a very very good e-cig for the price. It is 10 bucks. You get when you buy the $10 basically it's like a starter kit. You get the two batteries, two um I don't believe they're push button batteries. I believe they're just standard draw on them. They give you a hit battery. Um so basically suction makes the battery come on and um instead of a screw on um, cartridges, they are push on cartridges. Um, they just snap into place basically. Um, there's, like I said, two batteries on the starter kit. You get the USB charger, just the USB, doesn't go to the wall, just the USB. And then you get two cartridges with the starter kit. Now, with the coupons that we got, now if I can find the coupons that we have where we get a free set of cartridges and a free um, starter kit, I will give that out to somebody that is wanting to start vaping, basically. Um, but yeah, so. Um, like I said, we've been vaping now for five months. We're loving it. We love the fact that we got back into vaping. Cigarettes stink to us now. We're five months, like I said, five months. So now we're to that point where cigarettes stink to us again. Well, after I think the first two weeks of getting away from cigarettes completely, cigarettes start stinking. I think after two weeks. After two weeks for me. She still smokes a cigarette here and there. But only one. And only if she's by somebody that is smoking. If we're hanging out with somebody like a friend, a smoker friend, um, and they are smoking around us, even though we're vaping and we're trying to get talk them into vaping, which I think we do that a lot now. What you say? Mm -hmm. We always try to get people into vaping now. Um, since we got back into it. Um, like she'll smoke a cigarette here and there. But every time she smokes it, she always uh, complains about, God, it stinks. Man, it tastes so nasty. But she just got done with her RDA, putting her own coil 